Hi everyone, Martin here from martinsmayhem.co.uk. I hope you are well. So today I shared, well, not today, the other day, I shared this card over at my blog and I've been asked to demonstrate the background just ever so quickly. So that's what I'm going to pop on today and show you. Um, I'm using three colours to create the background. Now, these aren't... I'll quickly put them in order. There you go. So we are using Flirty Flamingo, Melamombo and Rich Rattleberry. So where do I start? I'm going to start with a piece of Whisper White. So this is just normal Whisper White cardstock. I use sponge dubbers for my ink blender. You might think, think, think that's a lot of faff. But honestly, look. You can still achieve such a dramatic... An effective background by doing it so I'd recommend it. Uh, so I'm going to start with Flirty Flamingo so I'm just going to grab that as that's our lightest colour and I'm just going to ink it up and just dab off a little bit before going in and if I just zoom in ever so slightly you can see just about laying that colour down initially getting the area filled like so okay so um I'm off the edge, there you go. So you can see that that's flirty flamingo down. So this will dry lighter than you see now. Um, because as the ink's absorbed, absorbed into that paper, it will lighten slightly. So next is gonna be the Melamombo. And again, I have another sponge dabber. I'm just gonna dab it off to start. And just coming in from the side. I am overlapping the colours, as you can see, and that's just going to help with the blend later on. But don't concern yourself in relation to having a line at the moment. That line's fine. It's okay to have a line. So just up and go from the other way. Just try to get a nice even coverage of colour. So, um, I don't have, I do like to save my fingers from getting inky, a post-it note, but I don't have one to hand. I don't know where they've gone, but yeah, <laughs> just carry on. Now, what I like to do is, between each colour, I like to go back to the colour before, so Flirty Flamingo's back, and ink it up. And I'm just going to go back over that line where they overlap just to help smooth out that blend. As you can see that line's basically disappeared. Bring it up just to help smooth it out. And you can see how you've already got that difference in colour and that line's basically gone. So the last colour, let's move these ink pads out of the way. You can't really see because I'm zoomed in. But let's face it, you want to see it up close is Rich Razzleberry. I'm gonna open that up. I've just got it all over me. Typical. So Rich Razzleberry. Look at that. It's terrible. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this in from the edge and the top. Now, because it is so dark to start with, you just, trust me, it does lighten up. And all I'm gonna do is just keep adding the color, bringing it down into that Melamombo. 
as you can see. And you get that fade. And as I said before, I like to bring back my previous colour, so this time the Melon Mumbo, and just work over the top. Just lightening that blend as much as possible. Okay, can you see? There we go. Just going to add a little bit more of melon, bring that down ever so slightly more. And then just finish back up with the flirty flamingo. Just to again blend all of that together, as you can see. Oh, throwing it around. So if I zoom back out ever so quickly, you can see the colour difference between our piece here and the, on the example. Okay, so it does gently fade down into softer colours. Now I'm gonna move my example out of the way because to create the ink splats, I'm just gonna grab a glass of water. And I normally stand in my bathroom and just flick the water all over. So my fingers, fingers are pretty wet and I'm just gonna flick the water. And you can see straight away, that that is picking up, and I'm just going to dab over some tissue just to pick it up so it doesn't ruin the paper underneath. Okay, and if you want more, you can add more, and then just quickly dab it off. And the quicker you dab it off, the more ink you're going to leave in that area. So there you go wipe around there's water everywhere now so that's how you create a super subtle background such as this i hope you enjoyed today's video and you learned something from it a full list of items are available in the description bar below if you have any questions please do not hesitate in contact with me i'll be happy to help i'll see you around bye